On the 4th of August last year, I created the Young Fan Podcast YouTube channel, and since then I've tried to consistently create an episode of the podcast at least once a week. I think I've just about got over England's Euro defeats, so I think it's time we move on and start something new and refreshing. It's been just under three weeks since the last episode, and it's been very strange not being actively creating and producing the content that I love. Talking, discussing, analysing and creating content around football is what this podcast has always been about. And as we take the next step with the direction of the new season, excitement really is the dominant feeling. But really, all I have left to do is introduce you to the next chapter. So, what's new then? I think that's the big question. I think the main one really is there's going to be bigger and better content. It's going to be taken to the next level. And that's what really I want to do. And as I mentioned in sort of the intro, intro, I guess this is sort of the introduction to the new season. But as I've already said, the first year for me was was really interesting and intriguing. And now having spent quite a time away from doing it, like three weeks, it's a long time in the podcast, considering I've done it consistently and, and quite with, with some momentum for about a year. You know, I had some time to sort of step away and really sort of make sure that the next piece of content, the next chapter, season two preparations were really the best it possibly could be. And that's always what I try and do. I don't want to make it a stale, same old show. I want to try and make it better, uh, bigger and a bit more really, really just sort of get the most out of the podcast and get the most out of you when we talk about when we talk about discussing football, analysing it, talking about it. And that's really what I try and do. However, it probably at the moment does steam a little bit same old with what I'm saying, but I'll give a few examples, but I'm purposely not going to give too much away. But I do want to make sure that as it goes on, I haven't given you all the information and said everything I'm planning on doing because it does move away and does sort of I guess leave the excitement a little bit to one side because I want to make sure that the excitement is always there and there's a few surprises that I want to sort of put in there slowly but surely as we head into the new season. I think the biggest one really uh, is the away day content uh, and the biggest addition uh, will, will certainly be going to away games, travelling to stadiums, going to different locations up and down the country, following Oxford United uh, and creating the best content that I think I'll produce. I do generally think that going up and down the country, following your football club, uh, and, but not just making it you know, all about Oxford as well, going to different stadiums, going to the amazing locations, the amazing football clubs that we are so lucky to have in League One, that content as well is available for everybody. So it's not just Oxford United buyers. So I'm an Oxford United fan, so that of course will come out I'm sure with a lot of people but at the same time I don't want it just to be that I want to go and experience League One experience the football uh, and go to different places and just sort of really I guess get to know a little bit more about the other football clubs in the league because I think I'm a bit Oxford blinkered at the moment and, and due to COVID that's been a bigger big one because we haven't been able to go to stadiums for a long time we haven't been able to do that sort of thing and we sort of have been Oxford one way or no way and, and by going to different stadiums we've been allowing to sort of express and I guess really feel uh, and experience the different sides of this league and, and go to different grounds and that's something I'm really looking forward to doing the podcast certainly will be going in that direction not as it's, it's it, not as YouTube vlog like if that's if it's the best way of putting it i don't want to give too much away again and i don't have anything wrong with vlogs and anything wrong with match day vlogs. they're really really exciting and i do definitely enjoy watching them but it's a podcast and that's something that i want to keep the same it's a podcast we sit we chat we talk about football i get to hear from your i get to hear your thoughts you get to hear my thoughts and we go from there so it's not in that sense so when i say away day content and the away day stuff that i definitely will be bringing to the podcast it's not going to be like a, a match day vlog there may be aspects of a, of a, a, a you know of going to a game because I do want to experience it with the podcast, but not in as ways as of a match day vlog. Really, that's that's the main thing. Um, but yeah, again, I don't want to go into too much detail there, but there will be away day content, and that's probably the biggest addition to the podcast as we now head into season two. The next thing, really, and that, and that isn't really a change, but I want to ensure that we're keeping the interactive shows. We're keeping the live streams. Not all the live streams, because we will be hopefully going to away games, and that, of course, is COVID. Um, COVID if COVID allows that, really, that is COVID per- permitted, because there are different pieces of information that were being fed by the government, and, and you know, really sort of keeping, obviously, to the guidelines of, uh, of COVID-19 and making sure that that comes first. And then, of course, going to grounds, going to football matches, that, of course, is second. Uh, or probably even third, fourth priority to a lot of people. But for me, I definitely want to experience that. But again, that has to be possible if COVID allows it. However, moving away from that, 
keep, I want to keep the live streams because the live streams are massive and I absolutely love them. If you were part of it and this, this may be the first time you come across my podcast, if it is, subscribe, leave a like. Uh, please do that because, again, you're probably going to, because I am sort of comparing the first year to this year, so you might be slightly confused. But really, I am sort of letting you know what to expect from, from, from season two, what to expect as we go into this next year. Again, it's not like a Netflix show where I know what's going to happen either. So I have no idea where this is going to go. I have no idea what's going to happen. And again, with a football podcast where you follow a team and follow a league and, and follow everything around football, the amazing thing about football is you literally do not know what's going to happen. You know, I could be going up and down the country in a, in a title run. We'll come on to that in a separate podcast episode. I don't think we will, let's be honest. But we could be. Or we could be going up and down the country in a relegation battle. So the whole way of the podcast, the amazing thing about it is I do not know where we're going to go. And that, again, it's a little bit, that, that bit, again, I can't even tell you. You know, I'm keeping a little bit to one side because I do want to keep the excitement to everybody else. But again, I don't know everything and I don't know what's going to happen. So it's not like this is what to expect, bang, 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 100%, because I literally do not know everything about it because you can't, I can't tell the future. I don't know what's going to happen. But really, last season and last year, I think the keep it, I think the live streams that I brought in from Christmas and from sort of New Year to the end of the Oxygen United campaign uh, and even through the Euros, I absolutely love them because you get that interactive chat you get the live chat i can discuss you can you give your points in the live chat it's free to do and give your thoughts as they happen as i speak about them and then we could use them as discussion points i do enjoy them in the england in, in the euros um but, I, but there was something about the oxford ones there's something about the oxford something about the league one because again you've sort of when we did the england ones you got england fans which is obviously great but again when we went to for example oxford hull and i did one there you got hull fans oxford sunderland you get sunderland fans and you come in and you it's not a a toxic environment normally. I'm sure there will be a few people that, you know, will have a little bit of football banter, but that's football, isn't it? What I mean is you get that sort of other side to the game. You get that Sunderland perspective, that whole perspective, and something about that I absolutely loved, and that I want to keep the same. Again, not exactly the same, because there are obviously things you can improve, and we can improve, and I can improve. It's basically down to me. Um, However, again, I want to keep that, because they were something that I absolutely loved, and I was really passionate about. Um, They're a huge part of season one, and I want to keep them in season two. There will be a few changes. There will be a few tweaks because obviously we'll be going to grounds and we're going to stadiums but definitely keeping those uh, because I absolutely loved them and I think from the, what I'm generally getting and the, from the real consensus that I got the live streams are a really really popular part of season one so definitely keeping them for season two is what I'm looking to do also as well I think it's important to note that when we watched the games and when I watched the games and then came on straight away we were watching them and everyone was watching them from, from the living room from, from wherever from home uh, obviously they're available on what is called iFollow I don't know if you're aware of it it's iFollow where you can watch the games basically uh, you have to pay I mean I'm a season ticket with Oxygen United and I'm going to continue I've renewed my season ticket next year uh, home games of course for season ticket holders we could watch for free online and then we did have to pay for away games which was fine because I love Oxford and I'll do anything for Oxford I'll watch every game I watched every game I think I did watch every game last year um, maybe didn't do a reaction on every game uh, but I definitely watched every game last year and, you know, the iFollow situation won't be the same next year because fans hopefully will be allowed to go back to stadiums, which does mean the away games won't be available. If fans can go back to stadiums, we won't be able to watch them from our home homes because they want people to go to the grounds. They want that income. They want that financial side for the football club, which is frustrating for fans that can't travel up and down the country. I won't be able to do it for every game. I'm not going to say that I will be doing it for every game. Hopefully, the majority of games, I can try and do that. But again, like I said, I don't know how this season's going to go. I don't know what COVID's going to do. No one knows the situation outside of football. So to sort of give definites and give 100% is really quite difficult. So again, at this point, my aim and my real ambition and what I really want to bring to the podcast is the away day content. However, it's COVID permitted. It's always changing. However, when I talk about iFollow, and the reason why I brought that up is because, you know, we can't just watch games and then come straight back on here. There will be differences in that sense because I'll be at the stadium. You know, we'll be travelling to, to different games, coming back and doing different things. So it won't be as, as, as like last year. And I liked last year. I loved last year. It was a fantastic first year. I didn't know how it was going to go. And it turned out to be really, really successful. But this time, there will be changes. And some changes I haven't decided. They're out of my, they're out of my hands. They're out of my control. However, I think I should bring that in just to let, let, let a few of you know, really. Because I don't think a lot of people, some people that don't watch, I think the most people that watch some of the stuff, sometimes don't even watch the game. They just come on here to give my reaction. I go sort of go through the game, which I love, because then I can sort of explain it through. Uh, and, and, and I completely understand that that is why my podcast as well, I think, was, I enjoyed it so much. Because I'm sort of giving the, the my reaction, but also going through the games, going through different aspects of the football match. And I think that was really, really good. But just in case you didn't know that, that's why it will, they will be, will be forced into making some changes in that sense. And finally, I think one of the biggest ones that I think a lot of people have spoken about is the I've got a lot of questions about the interview. 
Uh, of course, it was a series that I started in season one, uh, which was basically where I got people or I got my first guest basically on the podcast and I basically interviewed them. It's in the name, really, the interview. It's quite self-explanatory. Um, but I got Nick Harrison, of course, Oxford United broadcaster, author, um, amazing person, journalist. He's done everything, really. And he's a really and it was a, it was a fascinating and wonderful interview. Um, and if you haven't checked it out, definitely go and check it out. Even if you're not an Oxford United fan, of course, we did focus everything really around Oxford United because that's where definitely I feel like I could give the best questions. And it is, it, you know, and for him as well, of course, he's a massive Oxford United fan and he does so much around that side of the football club. For me as well, I absolutely loved it. Uh, and it was such an insightful, fascinating interview. And I think bringing that on and, and continuing that for season two is definitely something that I want to do. So don't worry, the interview, it is more difficult than a lot of people think. I'm not going to lie, trying to get people onto a channel with 277 subscribers isn't the easiest of things and that and I'm, I'm grateful of every single subscriber that I get however I am always looking to grow it I'm always looking to add subscribers always adding to sort of increase the interaction of the show but it is difficult to bring the guests that I want to bring on when I've only been doing it a year I'm very very new I'm still so raw in this industry and so raw in creating my podcast I'm absolutely loving every second of it I'm learning on the job you know I'm learning I've never done this before so it's really quite new to everyone and specifically new to me so that's something I want to do though and if you've got any suggestions of people you may be thinking to bring on I have got a few ideas I will be trying to contact them but like I said it's not as easy as just do you want to come on podcast they say yes we get it done there is a quite a few more things behind closed doors behind the scenes that has to go on for that to happen uh, and a lot of people probably suggest can you get the manager Carl Robinson can you get players to come on trust me trust me I've tried so hard it's not as easy as that either because again they're tied down to contracts they're tied down to clubs um and they will not, the club pretty much won't allow them to come on fan um, and I guess non, non-official non podcast, you know, um, I guess close to the club uh, and, and, and basically official by the football club. If Oxygen United had an official podcast that was made by Oxygen United, which I don't think we have. I know we have a lot, we do have podcasts around Oxygen United, um, but there isn't one I don't think officially by Oxford United. Um, then of course that will be that you know they'll be able to get players on, managers on, whatever, coaching staff, all that sort of thing. But when you're not official, it's not easy to do that. It's not easy just to bring whoever you want on. So that of course is something that a lot of people will suggest. So if you're thinking of that person's suggestion, I know basically. And you know if you've got any other ones, that'll be much appreciated. And hearing from you as well, leaving your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you excited for the new season? Please do let me know because I certainly am. Um, and yeah, really that that's been it. That is really the sort of the roundup and what I want to try and do um, going into season two. I don't want to give too much away because I want to keep that excitement, but thoroughly. I am thoroughly looking forward to it. I'm absolutely buzzing for the new season, buzzing for the campaign. We've had the Euros. We're now moving on to the next chapter, so season two. So please, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave a like. And hopefully this comes out on the Friday, which I think it should do. Saturday, we should have one as well. So tomorrow, we'll be looking on Oxygen United's transfer window so far. I'm sure it's going to make a really interesting podcast episode because it's looking a bit worrying. I think that's the best way of putting it. But that's it. That's for a second episode. That's for another day. Make sure, again, you do both those things. I've been Jack. This has been the Unfan Podcast. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited. Welcome to Season 2. Welcome to the next chapter. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in a bit.